Now, can PAD be treated? PAD can definitely be treated. How? Uh, number one, and, and you know, modifying all the risk factors with the lifestyle uh, improvements. If the patient is a smoker, absolutely, smoking plays probably the most critical role in in the in the formation of peripheral arterial disease and in the treatment. It is absolutely mandatory. So that patients the patient that you pa patients that you may have seen in the past. Their number one, they came in, are they mostly smokers? Uh, the majority happen to be smokers or former smokers. That is exactly wow. correct. There's a super strong association mm -hmm. between peripheral arterial disease and smoking. And the patient that continues to smoke will have more complications due to the peripheral arterial disease. If you, if you have done an angioplasty, if you've done a vascular procedure or a bypass, those patients that continue to smoke are most likely to have that bypass or angioplasty or stent fail mm -hmm. than the patients who actually quit smoking. It's wow. really that dramatic. It is that dramatic. And before we go to break, one more thing. What happens if you are not treated for PAD? If, it, if it's left untreated, if you're one of these that you have no symptoms, or even if you did, you didn't go see a doctor? Th then the, the bottom line, it, you're missing a great opportunity in your, with your patient to prevent something more devastating. Right. Uh, you're preventing, uh, you're bypassing an opportunity to prevent a heart attack or a stroke, to really treat those patients aggressively with their blood pressure, get them to quit smoking, control their diabetes, all those things. If you identify your patient, you should aggressively treat them as if they have coronary disease or heart disease. And then that 30% more, more mortality rate that is that basically goes without question. Uh, you're, you're, that patient, uh, you're not going to be able to, if you don't identify them, right. you're not going to have that opportunity to prevent that 30% mortality rate.